Nintendo was known for good times with friends, and they didn't disappoint with this console. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be looking at our picks for the top 10 multiplayer GameCube games. For this list, we're strictly focusing on the multiplayer aspects of the games that were on the only console to feature a handle. So it's time to see what games put that feature to great use. Number 10, Super Monkey Ball 2. This sequel to one of the Cube's premiere launch titles increases the multitude of things you and your friends can do with the spherically encased simians. Like the first game, four players can take turns playing the single player mode with a variety of difficulty settings, but everyone knows the best multiplayer action happens with the mini games, which this game significantly ups the ante on. In addition to featuring old favorites like Monkey Race, Monkey Flight, and Monkey Bowling, it also introduces new ones like Monkey Shot, Monkey Soccer, and Monkey Tennis, all of which can be played with up to four people. Number 9, Soul Calibur 2. One of the only main installments of Namco's weapons-based fighter to appear on a Nintendo console, it also happens to be one of the best fighting experiences on the cube. Two players can pick from characters including Nightmare, Baldo, Ivy, and the GameCube exclusive Link, then duke it out in one of the tightest, most fun fighters of this console generation. A variety of modes are also included like Arcade, Team, and Battle, just to make sure that hitting each other with impractically oversized swords never becomes boring. Number 8, F-Zero GX. It may be one of the hardest games, period, but there's no denying that this futuristic racer also provides a great time for a group of people. Up to four players can participate in the game's versus mode, with each choosing a unique F-Zero vehicle and racing on ridiculously designed tracks at breakneck speeds. The game's high level of difficulty might make this a hard game to master for some, but fortunately for those not too experienced, the game does provide the option to return you to the track should you fall off. And you will. I am Beastman! I fight to the death! Thank you for the interview. Number 7, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. After an absence of 10 years, Square's flagship series finally returned to the company it started out on, albeit in a way that nobody was expecting. A multiplayer-centered RPG, Crystal Chronicles was the first of its kind by requiring all players to use a GameCube Game Boy Advance link cable to hook their GBAs up to the system. This let players use the GBA as their own personal screen, from which they can control their character and bring up menu options. Despite this unorthodox and very expensive setup, Crystal Chronicles remains one of the most unique experiences on the system, providing fun, team-based dungeon exploration and combat. Number 6, Pikmin 2. The first Pikmin was lauded as a great and unique single-player experience, so nobody really thought it would jump into the realm of multiplayer. Still, that's what we got with this sequel, with a rather unique take on the real-time strategy genre. In the game's challenge mode, two players can work together by commanding their Pikmin to collect trinkets and defeated foes to get their best high score possible. Of course, if co-op is not your thing, there's also battle mode. Here, players must collect up to four gold marbles scattered on the field or steal your opponent's colored marble to win. Man, never thought marbles could be so brutal. Number 5, Time Splitters 2. There weren't a huge amount of top-tier shooters on the GameCube, but this was an exception, and a pretty badass one too. This time travel based shooter featured a robust competitive component, featuring a variety of different modes, weapons, and characters, including robots and monkeys if, you know, monkeys with flamethrowers are your thing. 
but if your style is helping instead of hurting. The entire campaign mode has a cooperative option, because time travel is more fun when you have a buddy to do it with. Number 4. Mario Party 4 While it may have gained a reputation for being the game that destroys friendships, there's still no denying that Mario Party provides a fun, enthralling, and even intense virtual board game experience. Like its predecessors, the fourth game pits up to four people against each other on boards like Goomba's Greedy Gala and Toad's Midway Madness to see who can get the most stars and duke it out in one of the 60 different minigames. Sadly, this was the pinnacle of the series, as it all went downhill from here. Number 3. The Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure When you think of franchises most known for multiplayer adventures, chances are The Legend of Zelda wouldn't even make the first round of cuts. But the series did venture into the multiplayer realm for the first time in 2004, in an incredibly unique way. An expansion of the concept created in the Four Swords side game on the 2002 re-release of A Link to the Past, Four Swords Adventures added an in-depth story and more fleshed out gameplay. Like Crystal Chronicles, it also required the use of Game Boy Advance systems via the GNC GBA Link cable for each player. If you did manage to find four others with that technology, and we know that's tough, you're in for a one-of-a-kind Zelda experience. Number 2. Mario Kart Double Dash For our money, there are few racing franchises better than this iconic kart racer, and this GameCube installment is one of the series' crowning achievements. Nintendo radically changed the gameplay style with Double Dash, allowing two characters on each kart, each with their own special items. It has the option of four players each controlling a kart, or if you want to make things really interesting, two players on the same cart, each in charge of a different part of it. It also was one of the few games to have LAN support through an adapter, effectively allowing up to eight players for those of you willing to go the extra mile. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Super Smash Bros. Melee Was there ever any doubt? The best-selling game on the cube, this four-player fighter is so beloved that it's still played in tournaments to this day. Featuring a roster of 25 characters, from the well-known Mario and Kirby to the obscure Roy and Mr. Game and Watch, no two people will play this game the same way. With a variety of modes, options, and stages, Melee is able to provide you and your friends with an almost infinite amount of gameplay. If you really want to find out who's the best amongst you, play with no items. It'll get real intense, really quick. Do you agree with our list? What do you think are the best GameCube games to play with your friends? For more top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.